Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities BACA Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa at Gudaybiyah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of preserving Bahrain's culture and heritage, which are the main elements that define the kingdom's national identity. He commended BACE's efforts in promoting the kingdom's culture and antiquity sector, as well as its achievements in registering a number of Bahraini heritage monuments on the World Heritage List. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted the vast historical sites located in Bahrain, which house ancient antiquities and artifacts that showcase the kingdom's rich cultural civilization and emphasized the importance of continuing excavation efforts to further discover and enrich Bahrain's cultural heritage. His Royal Highness noted the importance of supporting Bahraini artists and craftsmen in illustrating the kingdom's uh, rich uh, cultural heritage and development. He stressed the importance of promoting Bahraini culture for the development of cultural tourism. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister directed the preservation of the kingdom's cultural and historical monuments in light of the ongoing infrastructural development. For his part, the president of BACA expressed a gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's continued support for the culture and antiquity sector. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, also attended the meeting. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Al Wadi Palace the Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Al Naimi, in the presence of the GSA Vice President, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, GSA CEO, Dr. Abdul Rahman Askar, and Assistant Under Secretary for Radio and Television Affairs, Abdullah Khalid al -Dusri. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the media is an essential partner in ensuring the success of sports work, which contributes to making further achievements in such a vital sector. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the Information Affairs Minister on the Royal Trust bestowed upon him by appointing him to his post, wishing him and all the affiliates of the Information Ministry continued success. His Highness reviewed the plans and programs that the GSA seeks to implement within its development vision in a manner that would achieve His Majesty the King's visions and directives to continue developing the sports movement by implementing the development projects included in the action plan of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness underlined the pivotal role played by the Information Affairs Ministry in highlighting the efforts of the various governmental sectors, institutions and entities which will motivate them to continue their comprehensive development endeavors. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that the sports media is an integral part of the sports work system, noting that its efforts contribute to enhancing progress and highlighting achievements. He directed the Information Affairs Minister to devise a plan to develop sports media in line with the GSA's goals aimed at boosting the sports sector to achieve further progress. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed the need to strengthen cooperation with all sports authorities to determine sports events and coordinate in their coverage. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his majlis in Al Wadi Palace Bahrain's champions who made achievements in Paralympic sports in various participations this year. His Highness welcomed the champions and conveyed to them the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King and his wishes of success during their sports march. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to the sports sector, which had a profound impact on achieving further successes to make Bahraini sports one of the main highlights of the Kingdom's national march. 
His Highness also commended the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in devising the developmental strategies that resulted in the success of sports and athletes, especially Paralympics, and contributed to making achievements in various participations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that Bahraini Paralympics affirmed its competence through the honorable results it achieved in major international championships and events. His Highness expressed pride in the achievements of Bahraini Paralympic athletes, affirming his continuous support to Paralympic sports and its affiliates to achieve the aspirations and goals that increase the Bahraini continental and international presence. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Bahrain Paralympic Committee led by Sheikh Sheikh Mohammed bin Adraj Al Khalifa in developing plans and programs that contributed to the growth of the sport and its affiliates, wishing all athletes success and making further achievements in upcoming participations. The Minister of, of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi praised the continued interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the development of technical and vocational education. The Minister noted the approval of the Cabinet, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to transfer the affiliation of the Bahrain Training Institute to Bahrain Polytechnic. He stressed that this comes within the framework of the keenness to encourage school students to engage in technical and vocational education in line with the requirements of the labor market and in an effort to provide opportunities for vocational education at a high level of quality and to develop employment opportunities for graduates in the labor market. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Ali Naimi, praised the efforts made by the ministry's team in charge of following up on the educational e-portal and its contribution to its success through providing e-learning for students during the pandemic and reaching a total number of 134 million frequent visits by students, parents and affiliates of the Ministry of Education since the beginning of the pandemic. The minister praised the electronic educational portal, which is based mainly on His Majesty the King's School of the Future project and the digital empowerment in education projects, expressing thanks and appreciation to the officials in the ministry and the educational field employees for their cooperation in making these achievements. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Dayna, participated in the 31st OPEC Plus meeting, chaired by the Saudi Energy Minister, His Royal Highness Prince, Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman Al Saud. Bin Dayna stressed Bahrain's keenness on participating in high-level meetings alongside decision-makers and officials in the oil-producing and consuming countries and to discuss the means to enhance cooperation and exchange ideas and experiences. He noted the cooperation from within OPEC or for non-OPEC producing countries which has greatly contributed to gradually restoring the oil market's balance. 
He stressed support for the continuation of cooperation between producers and consumers to face challenges, find appropriate and positive solutions, and work together in maintaining the stability and sustainability of the oil market in the way that benefits producers and consumers alike, and to serve the global economy in general. He highlighted the agreement to increase production by 100,000 barrels per day during the month of September. The Minister of Works Engineer Ibrahim al Hawaj stressed the importance of continuing to advance sustainable development in line with the Kingdom at all levels through strengthening the infrastructure components to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process. In this context, the Minister of Works said that the Bahrain Tender Board awarded 18 tenders during the second quarter of 2022, noting that the projects were distributed among the various sectors of the Ministry, by three projects for the road sector, nine projects for the sewage, five projects for the buildings and maintenance project sector and another project within the technical services sector. The minister stated that the projects come as a continuation of the ministry's action plan to implement the government's program to develop infrastructure services in the various governorates of the kingdom. Bahrain exerts tremendous efforts to maintain and improve its healthcare system through quality medical services and numerous initiatives targeting citizens and residents. Treasure Your Heart is a campaign that aims to promote community awareness and reduce the incidence of heart diseases. And to speak more about the campaign and the most prominent heart diseases, we are joined over the phone by a resident physician at the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialized Cardiac Center, Dr. Ali Jasim Al Hashli. Hello, Dr. Ali. Can you tell us more about the most prominent causes of heart diseases? Good evening, and uh, thank you for giving me the chance to talk in your program. As you have mentioned, Treasure Your Heart is a national media campaign which is organized by Mohammed bin Khalifa Cardiac Center and in partnership with other governmental institutes. The goal of this uh, media campaign is to increase awareness of people in Kingdom of Bahrain about heart diseases and especially coronary artery disease and heart attack. Of course, there are a lot of risk factors for heart diseases. These include non-modifiable risk factors such as age, family history of heart diseases and being a male. And there are risk factors which we can control, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise, overweight and obesity, and unhealthy diet. Can you tell us more about what can be done to maintain a healthy heart? Sure. So heart diseases can be avoided by following a healthy lifestyle and controlling the modifiable risk factors which I have mentioned. Therefore, I advise everyone to control their blood sugar level, blood pressure and cholesterol levels by taking the appropriate treatment and regular follow-up with a family physician or specialized doctor. A person must also stop smoking, eat a healthy diet which is rich in fruits, vegetable and whole grain, maintain a healthy weight, exercise and maintain physical activity and manage stress. Physician at the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialized Cardiac Center, Dr. Ali Jasim Al Hashli, thank you for joining us.